Hey guys, Dr. Sean here. We're going to go through our mailbag segment today. We had a really good one that came in uh, from Terry, and she was asking me, she said, hey doc, you know, she goes, I got a question for you. I'd like you to do a segment on IgA nephropathy or Berger's disease. So I thought, oh, this would be a good one. I haven't done one on this, and so this would be a lot of fun. Her son was diagnosed at the age of 11 years old. He's now 28, so he's doing pretty good with this thing. His doctor who was treating him had retired. They had him taking 5,000 milliliters of fish oil capsules uh, per day. He faithfully took them for five years. His body's improved over time. He's an adult now, but he still has some blood in his urine. So that's important. We want to mark that blood in his urine. And however, he doesn't have a whole lot of effect. He feels pretty good. She's curious if he'll ever see a cure. And what's the newest treatment for this? So we want to make sure we focus on cure. And then how will we treat this sort of thing? So let's go through this. Let's look at and we'll see what we got here. First things first, guys. Burgers is a immunoglobulin disorder. Now, what does that mean, right? There's IgA, IgE, IgM. There's five of these guys. And they are your immune system's tags, its markers. It's how it knows to go after things and what it sends in to do its work. The key with this is that most of the time they're harmless, but in this condition, they're clumping. So the IgAs are so numerous, there's so many of them, that they end up getting caught in the kidney in an area called the glomeruli. And that little area is like a, a screen door, like a little filter. And these guys all get lumped in there. So imagine going to an amusement park where everyone's kind of getting filtered in and shoulder to shoulder. Well, now stuff can't get through. And so the kidney starts to show some wear and tear and some damage. So we're seeing that here when he's talking about, well, there's some blood in the urine. So right away, you know, all right, it's better, but it's not gone. And so we look at this and say, well, what could the outcome be? You can see renal failure. You can see all kinds of things happen with this. So the doctor that was treating him did a good job. They gave him the fish oil. And well, why? Well, fish oil controls inflammation. So that's not a bad idea. I wouldn't mind even seeing that go back in there a little bit. Maybe not as high a dose, but go back in there. The key is you got to use a fish oil that doesn't have vitamin A because A can aggravate kidney problems if you get too much of it in there. So use EPA, DHEA, but things that don't include the A in it, and you'll get some good benefit. Now, looking at this thing, we're saying, okay, we got blood in the urine. We've got this weird little thing going on, and that's the catch. It's this weird little thing that nobody really knows why it starts, where it starts, or what it's doing. So let's reverse engineer this a little bit. Let's take it back from what we do know. We know, all right, you've got an immune response going on in the body, and it's going on at a pretty high rate because you're producing a huge amount of the immunoglobulin A, which is a protein. And they're all gummed up in that kidney. So you start thinking, okay, so I've got something that's happening inside that the body's still reacting to. And when we put fish oil in, its anti-inflammatory properties help. So we think there must be some kind of inflammation. All right, that's a starting point. So where I would go with this and I would say, okay, if I know this, I'd start thinking, okay, immune disorders, things going on, something's got the body excited, I'd look to the GI tract. Because we know in autoimmune disorders, and that's pretty much stuff, we don't have any idea why it's there. We just call it that. Autoimmune disorder, the immune system is attacking itself. It's, it's, it's inflamed. It's excited. In those conditions, we see leaky gut syndrome a lot. Almost all the time. So we start thinking, okay, well, why is that? Well, the gut houses 80% of your immune system. So if I started putting two and two together, I'd start thinking, all right, so I've got this immune response that we're not sure where it's coming from or why. It's heightened. It's overrunning. It's running too fast, which means they haven't found the cause. So that's what we got to do. I'd run an IUP, integrated urinalysis panel. It's a body audit. It is an epigenetic profile. It is going to tell you how your environment, your diet, all the things you're doing, how your body is responding to that. We have 10 organ systems inside the human body. Their sole purpose in life is to keep us alive. Well, why not run a panel then that lets us look and see where the body's being pushed too hard? It may not tell you, oh, look, it's a virus in the blood. It won't do that. It gives you an idea saying, look, the kidney's being pushed. You may see the adrenal system's being pushed too hard. Digestion's not quite keeping up. 
when you see these flags, now you have something to follow. Now you can say, well, if I support those tissues, restore normal function, who knows what great things could happen. Now, medically, what are they going to do for this, guys? They're going to use uh, ACE inhibitors, steroids, immunosuppressants, all these things when it's really bad. In this case, his isn't really bad. That's the good news. The body's found a way around it, but there's still some inflammation there. In my world, it's all about restoring normal function. Go back, find the cause, remove it. Nourish the body. Run that IUP. Maybe put some protease in there to help the kidney function at a higher level and clean up some of the damage in the blood that's going on. If you do these things, miracles can, can truly happen, guys. That's what this is all about. So I'm Dr. Sean, the Robin Hood of Healthcare. I hope this helps you. It's a great mailbag segment. And guys, make sure you share these with your family and friends because who knows who else out there has the Burgers disorder? Who knows, right? We might be able to help them too. Dr. Sean, I hope that helped you. Take care.